Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another blog tech tips. And of course for today's tutorial guys, I'm going to show you how to fix the issue where you're having phantom touches on your device. And this device can include the Samsung Galaxy, any version. Here I have the Samsung Galaxy S10, but this can also happen to the S8, the S9, S7, you name it. Or, or in other words, every known um, Samsung. Now. The problem I was having here occurred when, of course, out of the blue, I was having what I call phantom touches. Now, a phantom touch is where you're not touching your device, but suddenly your display is doing all sort of stuff. I didn't. I was unable to capture the issue before fixing it as I had to fix it quickly due to the fact that due to the random touches, you would have settings being changed that you did not change. And if you're not careful, it could mess up your device. Let me show you what I mean. Imagine my fingers are not here. Phantom touches would happen like this. All of a sudden, you would get uh, menus being opened. You'll find your device going into menus. You'll see without my hand here, stuff just moving back forth and stuff being selected. And of course, it will continually happen. And if you try to turn off your device, you can't turn it off as soon as you bring up the power menu. You would find like for example right here if i were to bring up the pub menu you'd find that suddenly it exits without a reason now if you're having phantom touches where you're not touching your display and this is happening this is what to do now the first thing you need to do when you're having phantom touches is to simply go ahead and force restart your device so go ahead and just hold on power and of course volume down so you're going to squeeze both and hold and just keep holding and then of course you're going to hear the device or see the device go blank and as soon as the display goes blank um you're going to let go while the device is starting back up you're quickly going to get anything like a piece of cotton even your shirt or a piece of cleaning cloth so while the display is blank and i'm just recreating the situation you're going to go ahead and clean your display as you can see in the light here there are smudges on here and that's what causes the phantom touches so with a dirty display or screen, especially if you have a screen protector on, the oils from your finger actually is causing the issue. And sometimes when the oils from your finger um, is thick enough on a display, it will cause random presses. So what you got to do is just simply get a nice piece of cleaning cloth or your shirt or something very quickly while the device is booting and carefully clean the display. By cleaning the display, what you're doing is you're removing the gunk. Um, you won't have a lot of time, so try to just give it an initial clean. You can go back through later on and give it a thorough clean. So just go ahead and clean. And of course, before it boots up, you'll realize that as soon as you're at the lock screen, um, you can just bring up the fingerprint um, display and see if you're still getting random touches. And of course, from here, you can always go back. And of course, you can force restart again if you want to, as it will restart. And you can just simply get some alcohol or something very um, nice that will be used for cleaning and clean your display. Now, as soon as you remove all the gunk, what you'll find is that the phantom presses will stop. And of course, your display will be responsive again. All right, guys. So the key thing here is as soon as you're getting random presses, it's caused by um, grime or dirt or what should I say, oils from your finger being on the display. You need to remove those oils. Um, so you need to force turn off your device, power and volume down. If you don't do that, it will not restart as it will simply just keep pressing. Um, when you're in the reset process or reboot process, simply clean the display quickly. And of course, when you remove enough of the dirt, simply um, the presses will stop. And all you got to do is just take your time and clean the display 100% or thoroughly. And of course, once you do that, your display will stop from um, phantom presses. All right, guys, I hope this was useful as phantom presses are very annoying. It might change up some settings, but of course, if you do what I said, you should be okay. All right, guys, it's Ricardo Gardner from Blog Tech Tips. with a set of quick tips showing you how to deal with the issue of um, phantom touches or phantom presses on your device. All right, so it's Ricardo Gardner from Blog Tech Tips. Bye until next time. Bye.